what will happen is in the fetch API, we have all the data. So this will also change or re-render this function will call again when our page is re-rendering, when the increment is changing. <laughs> hey guys, I am Nishant and welcome to Cybernatico. In this video, we will learn how to properly call an API or how to send API requests properly to server. In this code, I have one counter state and one set counter to set it. Basically click increment and this will increment this counter state. But what will happen is in the fetch API, we have all the data. So this will also change or re-render this function will call again when our page is re-rendering, when the increment is changing like this. So every time our increment button is clicking or clicked, this API will be called which is not proper. This is a mistake that most developers make, mostly junior developers. So to fix it, we can use a use effect hook here like this. Then we can create this here effect. So what will happen in this use effect hook is, see with this, here we have our dependency array, this array, which is initially empty. It means whatever is inside this use effect will run only once when our page loads. So we can move it inside and this will run. But the problem is this will run two times. So what's happening is this use effect is getting rendered. It's calling the API. Then it's not returning or unmounting the call. So we have to make sure to include that as well. This is a proper method, but it can be improved much as well. So what we can do is we can create a function. Let's say const get users. You can make it a simple function or an add up function. Then move this inside here. Now we can call this get users inside like this. And this will be the same thing that it was before previously. We will, got the, we will get the call two times. To fix this, we can add return keyword that will unmount the API call when this use effect is getting unmounted. So we can add a return like this. So whenever our use effect is getting unmounted, this function will be destroyed and the API call will finish. So save this and if you refresh it, we will get the call only once. So this was the proper method of calling an API in use effect hook. You can move this inside as well in the effect and it will still work. So refresh, it will work. But if you remove this return keyword, this will not unmount. And every time you refresh the page from this refresh button, this will create an instance of this get users. But, and that can cause some problems in performance later. But if you add return, this will mount and then this will unmount. I mean, this will be destroyed, the instance. So this is a proper method of calling an API. That's it. One more thing, we can simplify the API call. For example, let's say we have two calls, not one call. So let's say we have get users and let's say get posts here. Let me remove this extra thing. And in here we have to add posts, not users. Then we have to return two things. So we can say get users in curly bracket and get posts. Now save and refresh the page. So we'll get two things. One is users, the 10 items, and one is posts, the 100 items. We can simplify this a little bit more. How to do that is create a file here for our API, which will be called api.jsx. Simple as that. In here, move these two functions like this and export them. Save them. Now we have to import this inside our 
app in order to run this so import okay the function name is get users and get post so get users and get post from api so that's all for now now save this save this save this and refresh it and this will run as it was running before if you click the button this will not re-render again on page re-render or on the counter change fine this was the one method of calling i mean proper methods but this can be simplified a little bit more so what we can do is we can pass params here so for example let's say we have a post request not a get request which sends data to the server not gets it we are sending our name from a form which is nishant or some other value called age like this we want to send this to this users get users then we can collect it here and we can simply check in the console save them both and we will get this if we refresh we will get the name and the age fine so let me remove this from here and simply pass one here then let me get it here which is param now if you add users slash param what we'll get what we will get let's check so we'll get empty or uh, empty object because this doesn't have okay wait something is wrong not this just add this sorry now we'll get only one users i think the first user so let's check see we are getting the first user here maybe because they're passing one as param fine similarly we can reduce our logic this logic to call only one api not call two apis so we can make this as get data let me bring this back get data so param we are passing here so we have to call get data and get data here because we have this function here save this and here also so in this get data we can pass whatever we want that i showed you just now so let's pass users keyword we have this users here let me remove this and add this okay we have this users we are passing users here in get data it's coming here so let's say param again and we can append this endpoint using this so we can add dollar and param now we can remove this note this thing because in second api call we have posts this and other logics is same like the endpoint is same the response we're getting is same the console are the same so we can reuse our logic to call the api in only one function in get data so if you save this save this remove this here also fine now we will get this users like this fine what do you want to call posts now so we can simply replicate or call the api again and we can simply pass posts to get all the posts here so refresh and we will get all the posts fine so we also have one more thing called photos in this api endpoint list so let's pass it here now we can call infinite apis from this placeholder.com where we are getting the api endpoint to call as much api as we want which is listed there so we are calling api in only one function which is get data but we are differentiating them according to the params users posts and photos and we're getting the results just as the same fine so one more thing or one last thing to so show you what do we want to show the first user so we can pass user slash one and that will fetch us the very first users from this users param which is this lien graham so that is the proper method of calling an api and i think that's all for now hope you learned this thing
make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching the video